Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to resolve any kind of feeding issues on SSP1 Green Gas Magazines. Now, there's a few people who have issues. I've tested them myself and I always was asking myself, why do other people have issues while I don't have issues? And what I found is it's the way that the magazines are loaded. So, you can load the magazines either through the top or through the bottom. Now, if you load them through the top, this mistake cannot happen. The mistake that I'm going to show you very soon. And also, if you tilt it like this, it also shouldn't happen too often. But what I want to show you is the difference between properly double step stacking and not properly double stacking. So this is a properly double stacked magazines. There's no holes right here. And also here, the follow has a direction. As you can see, here it has an angle. So this is right. Well, this is wrong. As you can see, the follow engages in the wrong way. We put one more BB and then it's right. You will not have any feeding issues if you do it like this. But if you say, I don't have the time to stack them properly or I don't like to you know, fill it from top, I always want to do it from the bottom, then of course there's also a solution to it, but it needs some DIY. So you need a file, you need sandpaper, a hammer and a pin that lets you push through this little pin here for the feeding lip. Now, in order to do this, what we need is we take out the BBs. First of all, what we want to do is push out the pin right here with something that's uh, stable, stiff, like this Allen key right here or this round file, and we want to push it all the way through. There's an actual push direction, and if you get it wrong, it's not a big deal, but it's cleaner if you do it the right way. The valve, the exhaust valve should face you, and the feeding lips should look to the right uh, from your perspective. Okay, that's how we push it out. We take the hammer, we just push out this little pin right here. There we go. Uh, and with push direction, that's what I mean. Here you can see the little grooves of the pin, which you know avoids that the pin falls out. And if we do it into the wrong direction, you're gonna drive those grooves all the way through the magazines, which is not good. Okay, so we take out this pin. And now we can take off the feeding lips. Here, be careful because the follower together with the spring will come out of the gun. And the reason why the feeding issues sometimes happen is because of the transition from the metal to the plastic. Now there's manufacturing tolerance. Uh, it's very hard to control this. However, we're working on a solution, you know, by chamfering the actual magazines. Um, but changing molds takes time. So meanwhile, you have to DIY it if you don't want to uh, load your magazines properly. So what you want to do is you want to create a slide chamfer here with either a round file or a very smooth sandpaper like at least 200 grit. You can wrap it around a round file or an Allen key or whatever or you use again a round file and you just slightly here remove some material. This way the BBs will have an easier time to find their way into the feeding lips and the feeding issues will not happen anymore. But also you shouldn't overdo it. Obviously, if you remove too much material, then the gap gets bigger and that's what you want to avoid. So you do this on both sides. And the reason why I'm just filing the sides here is because due to the double stack system, the most pressure goes to the side of the feeding lips. Also because the feeding lips get slightly narrower and this is why you know they're also getting stuck right here. Then what we also want to do is make sure that right here on the metal, we also remove a little bit of material right on this corner. So a very little angle. We just remove some of the material on this side and also on this side. So just here, give it a little bit of grind. Again, not too much. Clean it off with some tissues and don't put any oil here. Um, of course, you can solve it with oil, but that's just temporary. And then in the end, you will have the oil in your BBs, then you will have it in your barrel and it's not gonna make you happy, trust me. Okay, we insert it back inside. Make sure that the follower is in the right way. Obviously, here we have the little notch for the slide catch, so it has to go into this little space right here. Then we insert the, the lip seal. Make sure it's in the right place. Um, the gaps around have to be even. And then we insert the feeding lip here on top. Everything should be properly aligned. And then when we push in the pin, of course it has to be 
the opposite way. So before the magazine was lying here like this, now we just turn it around. The base looks to the right and the exhaust valve is facing you. The pin goes with the smooth surface first and with the ripples in the back. And then we just push it back in there and we are all set. Now you can load your magazines, either load it from top with the adapter that's included with the speed loader that I'm selling, or again, you can load it from the bottom, but then make sure that it's properly stacked. And with this modification, it's not that big of a deal if it's not properly stacked, but I will do it anyways, just for that additional feeding capabilities. Hope this video helped you. If you still have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us and the service team through the contact form at novish.com.